UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Summary or Arbitrary Execution. She joins us now live from Avignon in France. Thanks so much uh, for being with us. Um, I can't imagine you were that surprised by this tweet from Jamal Khashoggi's family. And from your perspective, I have to ask, you know, whether this forgiveness was forced or genuine, if it spares these men from the death penalty, it has to be at least good news for investigators like you because these convicts are also witnesses whom you have not had the opportunity to question. Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, when it comes to uh, death penalty, my position is very clear. Um, and uh, in this case, as in many other cases, it would have amounted to arbitrary killings. This being said, uh, the, the process that is being followed right now through the pardon is really a parody of justice. It means that there will be no opportunity for a proper appeal process, as far as I know. Uh, and the secrecy of the trial that had taken place until now is now completely sealed off from uh, public scrutiny. So on one hand, yes, those individuals will be spared. Uh, on the other hand, justice uh, has not been delivered and uh, the Saudi uh, authorities have continued uh, with uh, their travesty of justice. Right. And now we need to note that this so-called forgiveness came from Jamal Khashoggi's Saudi-based family, which of course begs the question yeah. then, was this forgiveness actually forced? Um, can you tell us anything about what the conditions are on his family still in Saudi Arabia? And uh, how can we be sure or not that this statement was made and under duress? Well, we cannot. I don't know, okay. uh, and we cannot be sure uh, whether or not it was made uh, under uh, duress or not. Um, at a personal level, I want to feel compassion for the family. Uh, I want to recognize the pain that they have gone through. Uh, and given what we know about uh, the, um, the way the Saudi government uh, works inside Saudi Arabia and outside, I think we can only fear the worst for the family had they decided not to go ahead with the pardon. Okay, a final question for you. What do you still need to see? What do you need the specific answers to in order yeah. to feel that this investigation uh, can be justly concluded? Absolutely. I never expected much from the Saudi uh, judicial system. In fact, I've always said we cannot be held hostage by uh, the whim of uh, Saudi Arabia. There are other ways for justice to be delivered. Some ways up to the court, for instance, the Turkish court could proceed with its, its trial in absentia. And I'm hoping really uh, that the, uh, tur the Turkish prosecutor and judges will proceed with this trial in absentia because there is more information that must be made public. There is a need for truth telling and much can be done through the Turkish trial. I think there is much that can be done in the United States. The US Congress has demanded that the National Director of Intelligence deliver the report assessing the responsibility of Mohammed bin Salman. So far, the White House has vetoed um, this uh, Congress uh, demand, uh, but uh, they are persisting in their request, and there too we could see something happening either in November or hopefully uh, before November. Um, there are other ways as well to deliver justice to Jamal, and that is outside the court. Governments, for instance, should not reward Saudi Arabia for its. Um, travesty of justice. They should not proceed with holding a G20 meeting in, in Riyadh or any other meetings of that nature. The media, we um, international experts must continue to raise the profile of this, um, of this killing because by speaking up for Jamal, by speaking up against impunity, I have no doubt that we are also protecting many other journalists around the world and we are telling states that they cannot get away with murders. Agnes Kalamar, great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.